okay so now just let's try to understand the concept of sensors and actuators with respect to a simple example okay so here i have a simple drawing tool so in real life we have seen many kind of sensors and or systems so basically let us assume that there is a fire alarm system fine so we have we will need a sensor which basically detects fire so this is a sensor which detects fire and it sends an output some electrical pulse or something when it detects fire obviously it will need some kind of power supply or whatever is there so when whenever there is some fire fine let us say there is some fire coming up so this sensor will detect this and it will send some high output pulse or high output fine now try to understand that sensor is an individual unit it is sensing something fine and the action that has to be taken place is based on this output what action should take place fine so the sensors do not work independently whenever you buy a fire alarm system or install a fire alarm system it consists of both the parts the sensor and the actuator so there will be some actuator or some another unit which is going to take some action so let us say we have an actuator which is associated with an alarm fine so this is a alarm system so it will ring start ringing when it gets some power so simply this is going to be a bell or alarm system when it gets an input it should start working so here we will send this or connect this to this now when these things two things are connected and when there is some fire this sensor goes high fine it sends a high output pulse or high output and it triggers this actuator which is basically the alarm system fine it takes an input and basically this actuator then rings this bell you can say the bell is the external part where the action takes place fine so similarly in our up bge the game engine over here we have this section of sensors fine if you see over here we have a sensors now all these sensors and actuators will be associated with an object so here for example if we take this cube and assign a sensor keyboard fine here i can sense a key i'll assign up arrow i'll discuss how to use this later on i've assigned a up arrow key to this and now i add an actuator say motion fine where i would move this object let us say in x axis or y axis or any of the axis i'll just increase the value some small value now technically when i play this game fine and press up arrow key this should start moving in y direction which is not happened so if you look at our diagram as i mentioned the sensor is an independent unit actuator is an independent unit these needs to be these things need to be connected once they are connected then only this is going to work so when the keyboard is being pressed my sensor senses that up arrow is being pressed over here it sends a high output pulse which should actually be received by the uh, actuator over here which is the motion actuator and if you see in our diagram over here our actuator this actuator is associated with the bell so when our fire sensor receives or senses fire it sends a high pulse to the actuator and then actuator finally triggers this bell over here fine right? makes this bell ring so similarly since our actuator and sensors are associated with this thing when input comes over here the actuator applies this action whichever we have taken up like motion over here to this particular object now when i have connected this and when we play the game again now you will see that my object starts moving so that is the concept of sensors 
and actuators and using this concept of sensors and actuators with multiple and or operations and so on we are going to develop our logic